Five states in India will elect new legislatures next month, ahead of national elections that are due next year. These elections are expected to give an indication of voter mood when Prime Minister Narendra Modi runs for re-election. Neha Punya with this report. It's been called the official litmus test before India gets ready to elect its next national government as early as next year. It's going to see five states go to polls. These are some of India's largest and most politically significant and polling will begin at the start of November. This includes the central Indian regions of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, the western region of Rajasthan, the southern state of Telangana as well as the northeastern state of Mizoram. Polling for the first few states will begin on the 7th of November and will wrap up by the end of the month and all results will be out by the 3rd of December. The Congress party, which is India's main opposition party, says it will fight these elections on the themes of public welfare, social justice and development. It held a meeting earlier on Monday, uh, which was led by its uh, de facto chief Rahul Gandhi to prepare its strategy for the polls. The elections will also likely see the recently forged anti-BJP alliance called the Indian National Development Inclusive Alliance or India fight together to take on Prime Minister Modi's party. They're reportedly in talks to discuss seat sharing and reports suggest plans will include fielding one united candidate against the BJP in the polls. The alliance has also expressed confidence that they will win all five states, a sentiment that was also echoed by the ruling BJP which said it will win under Mr Modi's leadership. These elections will be held at a time when the BJP is gunning for simultaneous regional and national elections in India. The ruling party says this saves money and time for the Indian voter. Critics argue it is a way for the BJP BJP to perform better in state elections where the party is not always able to capitalize on Mr. Modi's popularity. These elections are crucial not only because of the regions going to polls but also what a victory or a defeat here could signify. Experts say the elections will be a test ahead of national polls, of Mr. Modi's popularity one, but also of the opposition's ability to craft and execute a united attack on issues of unemployment, economic growth and other domestic issues. These five states also elected at least 80 members of parliament to India's lower house or Lok Sabha. So voter sentiment during the regional polls here could also, experts say, dictate how parties will fare in national polls in a few months' time. India's ruling party is in power in the central state of Madhya Pradesh and the opposition congress in power in Rajasthan and in Chhattisgarh. The last time around that elections were held in Madhya Pradesh, the congress had actually won, but a revolt from within the party had ensured that the BJP ended up forming the government there. This will also be only the second time since the state of Telangana was formed in 2014 that that region will go to the polls. Neha Punia, CNA, New Delhi.